Hi, my name's April Cotton Dick, and I'm with my friend Bill Hauser, who's also my mentor, uh, paranormal mentor. He's the the top in the field, I would consider, and we're going to do a ghost box session to try to contact Jordan Maxwell. Okay, we're going to use this uh, little hacked radio here. Okay, who would like to talk to us? How many active spirits around here? Can you tell me? Okay, we're here to try to get a hold of Jordan Maxwell. Jordan? You have a message for both myself and April. You have something in particular you got to tell us, Jordan. Are you happy that April has posted her book online on Amazon? You think she should do a second book in the near future? Can you tell us? Okay, Jordan, what kind of a message do you have for April right now? Anything in particular that April needs to know? You have something that's important that she needs to know now. What message do you have for the UFO community, Gordon? You have something that uh, is important we need to know. Is it still heavily infiltrated by the spooks? Yeah, I, thought, I figured so. What else would you like to tell about the UFO community? Something that we need to know. Is there? Does anybody remember Jordan Maxwell? You have something important you need to tell us, Jordan. What would you like to say? Are you doing well now? You're on the other side? Yes. Well, that's good. 
I need to know, what about your photos that were lost or disappeared or stolen? What exactly happened to them? Are they still around? Are they in other people's hands now for publishing? Can you tell me? What else do you know? Insight now, more on them. You passed over. They still exist, is my question. Can you tell me, Jordan? Do they truly exist? Okay. Other questions you'd like to say, April? I, I wonder if Jordan had a message for the UFO community. He indicated to me maybe he was unhappy with uh, what's been transpiring lately. So if you could expand on that publicly. Okay. Jordan, do you have a message for the UFO community? What do you need to tell to them? Something that's important? Are they going in the right direction? Can you tell us? Huh? What else do you need to tell us about the UFO community, Jordan? Tell us. Are you happy in the direction they were going? Yes or no? Okay. Does he have a? You'd like does he have any anything? explanation for the orbs? I mean, there's a huge assortment, but right now the focus is on uh, blue orbs. Okay. Rear says they're happiness, cause of happiness. Uh, I had um, Charles White tell me blue orbs were gray vehicles, and um, some blue orbs look like. I'm just wondering about, oh, and the U.S. government um, doesn't want us to know about blue orbs. So we should know about them. <laughs> what message do you have about the orbs in the sky? Well, yeah. And the orbs in general we see, some of us see, or we actually photograph, Jordan. What are they? Interdimensional people have passed over. Can you tell us? What about the blue orbs? What information do you have about that? Would we be concerned about the blue orbs? Should we be concerned about the blue orbs, Jordan? You have something that you need to tell us right now. Jordan, can you tell us something? 
important. Do you think people still got your message from what you used to uh, talk about in conferences and radio shows and so on? Do you think they've gotten your message finally? Okay, well, I think we're going to end our session. I'm going to sign off here. I'm going to count one to five backwards. All spirits, you must go back in the radio. I'm going to count one to five. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye. Okay, that's it. That was wild. I heard my name at one question you asked, and I heard my name, and then I'm I really need to listen again, but it sure sound like Jordan. Um, yeah, well, I think maybe bounce between the two radios is a good idea. I never yeah, heard, I so uh, that's why I thought of maybe using this radio on, because uh, I'm below ground here in the suite, so the signal is a little bit different. So okay, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but With the I, other radio, I was. I was getting a little bit of the broadcast radio, no question about it. So mm -hmm. they still re have good reception no matter what. Yeah. But anyway, was, that was interesting. No question that about is it. Interesting. It must be really interesting when they say your name, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. They say that quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Bill and April is like, you know. Anyway. They, know they know who I am and definitely you too, April. Yeah. I think so. So, um, yeah, I'm going to scour those uh, recordings and, and uh, you know, copy down what, what I'm hearing. And I'll send yeah, you. Yeah. Well, it'd be interesting when you post it up on some of your groups that you belong to and see what people on it as well. So you get multiple people. Yeah, because everybody hears differently. And, and, and sometimes I don't always hear it during the time of the session. I kind of get lost in the static -y noise of the radio. So yeah, I go I go quite deep in a meditation. And yeah, and it's yeah, it's kind of like that with me. So then that's why you you know you should always record your ghost box. I think you're right. 